Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my cooking channel here. Uh, cooking with Jams Gear. Jams Gear is my t-shirt line of business. What I do, I do make t-shirts, custom made t-shirts and jam stands for just about me, just about money. You understand? J-A-M. Which also really stands for is my name, Jason Andrew McTaggart. And this meal is sponsored by, you guessed it, Jams Gear. So let's get into this. So today, if you see my video of jerk, lobster, and shrimp, it's going to be the same idea, but this time I'm using tofu. So I went into the market, I found this tofu, I never used it before, firm tofu. It doesn't look like it has that much water, so, you know, this is all new to me, maybe new to you. So, it doesn't look like that much water. I'm gonna grab my nifty bowl over here. Give me a second, folks. I'm gonna put this in here and see what I'm working with here. It seems pretty dry. It looks like I could just kind of slam it. So I'm gonna wash these off and prep them up. Doesn't look like I have to dry anything. They look pretty dry and they have like a coat in there, maybe an oil or something, not even sure. But I'm gonna prep these up and I'm gonna get back to you right away. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so using this uh, Gue Gue uh, tofu here, surprisingly dry already. Barely any water in there for me to drain out. So I'm just gonna jump right in it. I didn't have to press it. I'm going to season up my tofu here. Right now I'm using some of uh, jerk seasoning, which I made out, made with um, delicious jerk seasoning. I just put this in my dehydrator. The jerk seasoning, the jerk sauce. Dehydrated it, made it into like a, a dry, um, it didn't look like, like powder and dried it out and then I put it in my blender. And then um, pulverized it to a powder. And then I got some delicious dry rub. So I'm gonna let that sit for a bit, maybe, you know, about 20 minutes to let that uh, tofu absorb some of this uh, seasoning. Uh, this might. Woo! That is smelling lovely. I'm just gonna um, sprinkle a little bit more. Probably don't even need it. But I'm gonna add the jerk sauce, more jerk sauce to this. But I just want this to like sit for a bit. And then I'm gonna coat it in some uh, cornstarch, then I'm gonna fry it up, give it a crisp, take it out, and then I'm gonna do the rest of the stuff. So stay tuned, let this sit for a bit, and I'll be back. All right, welcome back, guys. Sorry for the wobble wobble. My cameraman is a little shaky. So right here is where, this is the other half of my pineapple that I did with the um, jerk lobster and shrimp. So I'm gonna show you how I turned it into a little serving bowl. Some people don't like that part, but you know, I eat the whole pineapple. Really isn't no bad part. So I cut around here like that. Now it can't come out like this. So then I'm gonna cut some lines. Don't go all the way through, you don't wanna Country your bowl because you're going to be eating out of this. I'll just make a slim line here. <clears throat> then you could try and pop them out just like that. If you're having trouble, use a spoon. Scoop out the bottom just like that.
there's your pineapple. I'm gonna chop that up with um, some mango because the mango salad I made yesterday was banging. I'm gonna have one mango left, half a pineapple. So of course, I have to make another. So you just wanna get underneath there and that's it. Let's see if we can get this on camera. And then you pop it out. Then if you wanna take your mango bowl and you wanna give it a good scrape. You don't have to. You're gonna put I'm gonna put rice in there anyways. And there's your mango bowl. All right, so my tofu is ready. I'm gonna get back and get everything snappity going. All right, bless up, stay tuned. All right, folks, now I'm back here with my tofu that been seasoning for a little bit. I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of um, olive oil onto my tofu and cover this. Then I'm gonna give it a little shake. This tofu that I'm using this is the first time I'm using it. It is, uh, it's like it's pre-dried, very firm. Not very, but firm. Let's add a little bit more olive oil. I'm gonna use the olive oil as my liquid to make the corn start stick. And that oil is gonna soak into my tofu, giving it a fatty-like substance. Because tofu doesn't have any fat, so this will make it like nice and juicy inside, so it doesn't dry and give it that bad tofu flavor that tofu is known for. So I'll be back, I'm gonna get my cornstarch ready and we'll be on the next All right, so I'm back. So I have my bag here, it's hard to see. But um, <clears throat> I have my Ziploc bag here. What I have in here is some cornstarch and then I have some of uh, delicious drip season that I had dehydrated. So I'm just gonna dump all my little tofu squares in here. Take them all about. Keep them nice and coated. And I'm gonna fry these guys up. Best way to get your tofu coated with cornstarch. Not one piece will get left out. As you can see nice and coated that's what you want see how that cornstarch just seals in that jerk seasoning that's what you want the tofu is like sucking in everything like a sponge all right so i'm gonna get my frying pan ready and i'm gonna adjust my camera and be right back all right guys my pat is about to be nice and hot got it on a low medium heat so what I'm gonna do is crisp up the tofu I'm gonna get them nice and crispy you want to get them you want to get them too crowded up in here But we might be able to fit them all. Let's see. Let's go for it. Only thing is, if you crowd up your tofu, you're just gonna get soggy tofu. And that's not what we're trying to do right here. We're trying to get them nice and crispy. I'm gonna turn off the heat to about a medium. So 
go on the crisp on each side. So I'm gonna let them sit there. I'll probably add a couple more pieces. Just a couple more pieces to go. Just looking a little crowdy. But I think we should be fine. All I gotta do is probably add more oil. And you don't want them to stick too, just like that. So I'm gonna add a little bit more vegetable oil. Spike up my heat a little bit. Then I'm going to fry these guys side by side. Let them crisp up. Ooh, they smell wonderful. So I'm gonna fry these guys up, then I'm gonna be back and we're gonna move on to the next step, all right? All right, as my tofu is coming close to an end, the trick is you want them to be nice, crispy, golden brown, all the way around on all sides. The reason why, you know, I do it a little over extra, to give it a uh, more crunchy, crispy. Because when I put the sauce on, the sauce is gonna make it. If you don't cook it right enough, the tofu will become soggy. So right now, as the tofu, as you can see, it's starting to like shrink. Before the pot was like fully loaded with hardly any room. Now you can see we got tons of room. I'm gonna mix these up. I'm gonna get a plate. I'm gonna remove these tofus. Put them on a plate. Put them off to the side. I'm gonna save this, you know, cornstarchy water here. I mean, oil. For my next step, try to get everything out before my oil starts burning up. So I'm gonna put my tofu right here. Then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna add in my onions. Right into that fire pot. Then, I'm gonna add in some scotch bonnet right into the fire. I'm gonna let this sizzle up and get my main ingredient. I'm gonna toss in some red peppers. Tossing some green peppers. Mix that around. Where's my tongs at? Here we go. Mix this nice and easy. Onions are starting to get caramelized. Nice little roasting. A flat down at the bottom. All the grease is starting to pop up. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna be grabbing. This is the, if you can see it, delicious. 
uh, drip seasoning. All right. Turn down my fire for a bit. I'm gonna go in there with a nice guac of seasoning. Get it all mixed in there. Now at this point, this meal is vegan. There is no meat in this dish. Even with the tofu. So now that my fire sound like it's cooling down, I'm gonna add in my tofu at the last minute. Let that oil, sauces, all blend up in it. Keep it nice and dry. You don't want your tofu to get soggy. I'm gonna go for a little extra spice. I'm gonna add a dab more, you know what? Bam it up. Once you have delicious dirt jerk sauce, trust me. You'll be jerking everything. Then if you look on that jerk, people are you seeing this come together right now? Look at that. Well, let me put it back on the fire. Do what I'm doing. Even though I know I won't ruin. Look how cold. How nice and coated that tofu looks. Bright green. Time to turn off the fire. And you know what? I'm gonna take a little taste at this moment. Cause I don't know what I was doing here. So I'm sure it's gonna be all right. Yes, folks, that's it. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. But what I'm gonna do is leave it like this. Or let's get funky with it. I'm gonna slice in some mang, some pineapple. I'm gonna get my Mango here ready as that comes down. Should have had this mango prepared, but as it sizzles down, all right, just give me a moment, folks. Peeling my mango here. without trying to cut my hand off. All right, let's do this. Slice up some mango up in this dish. Since it is going into a pineapple. is um, a crispy sweet mango so don't use this don't have to use mango and pineapple but it went wicked with the um, lobster and there you have it Let's see if you can see that some nice jerk tofu made with delicious jerk seasoning I will leave the link below so if you wish to make some jerk like a pro 
and you will know what kind of sauce I'm talking about. Look how that glistens, shine. It's not dry. It's moist and crispy and delicious. All right. I'm going to wait for my rice to boil. I'm going to do my mango salad and come back. And just before I forget people, it's never too late. And you can't forget to garnish it with your green onion. Green onion at the end is perfectly fine because it will give you a nice crisp taste. And just mix it in there and let the rest of the heat gently bring that green onion down. So it's like a nice warm flavor. See how quick it turns nice and bright green? That means it's cooked already. So when you bite into this dish, it's gonna give all the tofu that pop kick and flavor that it needs. All right, still to come. Hold on, more to come, don't go. folks this is jerk tofu in my pineapple bowl made with delicious jerk seasoning this is my mango and pineapple salad with cinnamon but this is the main guy right here look at how that tofu is well seasoned you won't believe how good this is tasting right now so you guys know what's about to go down. Please like, subscribe to keep up with more of my cooking adventures. And check out Jams Gear, my clothing line on Facebook, Andy Biggs on Instagram. All right, bless up and you guys have a good day.